Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2, episode 31. Alright, let's go check and see how many emblems we have left. Why haven't you collected them <laughs> yet? Wow. Wow, huh. <laughs> Jesus! That's how we're doing pretty good so far, though. We've still got a long way to go, though. Well, yeah, but it's, it's so close. We have, what is that, 109 more? Doesn't seem so far away anymore, does it? No, especially because we're going through them at a breakneck pace. Decide which stage to go to. Well, I will decide which stage. We're going to go to Security Hall first. And, well, even though we already got an A rank, I think uh, this is just going to be how we're going to be doing these uh, types of stages from now on. The first one is, of course, just going to be used the fuck it button. <laughs> yes! I fuck it. it! What the? Hmm. Holy shit! What happened? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's that's the first one. Easy A rank. Simple. How is that? Perfect. I really Thank wish you. she would be falling in the background, just going ah. <laughs> Decide which stage All right. to go to. Getting getting ranks for the second mission here is going to be a little bit difficult. Just a little bit. How difficult is it? Well, uh, I'm trying to do something here first. Let's see. Oh, did you hear that? What? Oh, oh whoops. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, what, what happened? Uh, whoops. Ah. What did you do? Oh, don't, oh dear. Where? Um, I, Holy hell. Uh, uh, what? what whoa, what? Well, okay. here, th th this is where we get Rouge's Ooh. treasure scope. Oh. You see that little thing over her eye? That's pretty much the same thing as Knuckles' sunglasses. Oh, really? But again, that's mapped to Y, and Y is used to turbo, so yeah. Crap. And I kind of can't break these steel crates. And you uh, hear that? Yeah. She's got some weird sounds, don't you think? Is she Sonic? No. Well, uh, anyway, uh... <laughs> what did you do? Let's, uh, go ahead and just do the second mission. Just get get this, get this, uh, get this out of the way. Uh, How did you break it this much? Collect a hundred rings. Here we go. All right. <laughs> so, so you're not going to explain that? It's just, yeah, no, it happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah it did. That happened. It did happen. And I'm not going to deny that it happened. There's a bit of a set route we need to go in order to get a hundred rings because there are some balloons we need to to pop to pop in a couple of different places, and uh, there's also a way to kind of go back as well because it's really hard to find rings in this place without going inside of these safes, which are not always open at the time. I see. I see. It's a little difficult. Well, yeah, and with a level this big, I can't imagine it's easy to find 100 rings. Yeah, this is also a very constricting level, too, I think. Because even though it's big and open, it's very small, and there's only so much you can do, oh. especially with all the safes being locked. Oh. And that was a dumb idea. Hmm. Let's try again. Decide which stage to go. All so right. Once, once more with feeling, right? Yeah, let's try something else. Here we go. Uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> He's just okay, kind of freaking me out here. Is this the game or is this you? <laughs> it's me. It's me. <laughs> it's Have me. you ever had something happen like that where you didn't trigger something and something horrendously bad happened in the game? No. Not well, yet, I'm just anyway. Think, like, I'm just thinking, you, you're inputting all these codes and they're working. But, uh, at one point, maybe they have a mind of their own. Shit. Ah. It's a bit of an off day, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Like I said, it's... Hunter rings are always the most difficult ones because they're the ones that have to be the most precise. There are codes, <laughs> there are codes I can do to bypass it, but there's just no fun in it. I have to keep explaining this to myself, at least. <laughs> yeah. So... Your idea is, you know, play fair, except w with the use of the fuck it button. 
Yeah, because I don't think the fucking button works in this situation. What? And what hit, what hit me? What hit you? I don't think anything hit me, but hey, look, that's a 10 ring, so that's gonna come in handy <laughs> later. <laughs> Wait, how did you die? I, I, I hit an enemy and I didn't have any rings left. Oh, I thought you hit a wall. That's what I thought <laughs> happened at the beginning. You you ran into a wall so fast without any rings that you just, like, face planted and died. <laughs> this level sucks. It does. A lot. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, just random bullets everywhere. Absolutely terrible. Don't know where any other rings are. In a vault filled with money. They're not always filled with money. Sometimes they're empty. Well, who's going around emptying vaults? Who's? Because she's a thief. She probably already did this ship you know, by the time it all started. I don't know. <laughs> so, <sighs> the, the security guards that are, you know, taking, taking right. over this place. Not taking over, but why? Something What's weird's happening? happening. I can't break any crates. This is strange. Oh dear. Why can't, why can't I break any crates? Hmm. It's very odd. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe. Hmm. I don't like that. What have you done? What did you do, Ray? <laughs> uh, so, let's see if we can't get this right. Know where a lot of all those uh, ring power-ups are. Ring power-ups. Those ring boxes are. So maybe we can find a way to get a hundred rings by just kind of getting some of those. Okay. Post text. What's the time limit for a hundred rings? Cause I don't remember. Hey, thanks, buddy. You're a real pal. You're oh, a real no, minch. You. Oh, you stop. No, you stop. No, stop. Stop. Okay. Are right, you done? You done jerking yourself off with your post text? Oh, well, my can post text and me. We we get a lot. <laughs> we go way back. You know, me and him, we survived Nam together. You know, he's always looking ahead to the future. I'm here stuck in the past. <laughs> you know, me and him, dynamic duo, you know? <laughs> There's gotta be some kind of rings here or something or other. What's up here? A rocket? Where is that lead? Ooh. Money? Oh. Animal. Oh, that's it? That's it. Well, why didn't that animal blow up when you shot a rocket at it? It was in a cage. It blew up the cage. Oh. Well, how did it not die when you shot the cage with a rocket? It's a tough animal, man. <laughs> what was it? Like a chinchilla? It was a vulture. Vultures are tough? Yeah, man. They're birds. Dude, they can survive, like, rocket fire? Sure. You ever fight a rocket on a vulture? <laughs> Not yet, but I'm gonna go try it now. Alrighty. Oh, you broke some crates, I noticed. Yeah, so that's what? all fixed. God damn. That was invisible. No, it was a laser. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh... Gotta be some here we can do. Get these over here. <laughs> I love how whenever you whenever you push the I can just imagine whenever you push that that high speed button, especially in a level like this, you're just going, well, putting my life into my own hands right now. <laughs> do it, Rouge! Let's see how this goes. Ah! <laughs> Caution to the wind! Ah! Room from here. And you know. No. Oh, yeah. You never thought of that. No. Uh, oh, my child. When did you get so smart? Oh, Jesus. Come on. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> wow, well, Postex, you suck at this game. I thought you were good at this. <laughs> hey, Postex is the one editing, not the one playing. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. The one playing is an old flame of mine. It's called Past Me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, see, what? The fucking button doesn't quite work in the way it's supposed to. 
No kidding, it took you to the void. But you can use the fuck it button to just go back and all the rings are back. It resets the rings, that's hilarious. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Cheating son of a bitch. <laughs> so this is how that's, this is gonna work. Oh dear, uh, let's... <laughs> oh no! Something's going on here. All right, so, uh, let's, uh, let's do this right. Okay, all right. Okay, 100 rings. 100 rings. Now we got the fucking button working to our to our advantage. I'm just thinking at the rate we've gone and at the time we've gone, we've already collected 100 rings like twice. Let's see if we can just hit back. that and go back in. Whoa! That sounds so bad. <laughs> like every time you do that, I, it feels like the game's dying. I'm putting it through the ringer, I tell you what. <laughs> tell you what. I'm just thinking, that's like the game's heartbeat, and you're giving it a heart attack. I'm trying to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a murder Sonic Adventure 2! Oh, please don't lose any rings. God, that would be embarrassing at this I'm gonna point. Try, I'm gonna try not to. We got, we got a path going. <laughs> so now we can just head on back. These rings. <laughs> Start the place, oh. hit the fuck it button. There you go. <laughs> Listen to that! <laughs> God, it's like a couple of semis grinding on each other. <laughs> God, listen to it again. It's like, uh, you know how people can hear, some claim to hear satanic messages when you play a song backwards? That's what I think of whenever I hear that. Let's okay, hear it listen. again. <laughs> Jesus! Hey, we did it! There we go. Now we're floating. Whoa. Nothing. <laughs> There we go. God, what happens if you play this episode backwards? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, play this episode backwards, the Let's Play of Doom happens. Okay. Now we're going to see if we can't find the lost hidden chow. Decide which stage to go to. <laughs> He's in the dark depths of... <laughs> He's in the lost hidden depths chow, of dubstep. No. <laughs> Skrillex, why? Please, someone save the chow from Wub Wub. All right, so there's one place where the chow is. Well, let's see if we can't hit the Mystic Melody place first. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Just face through the crush trap. It's all right. <laughs> Maybe this is oh. what I was hearing. The giant rouge falling through the place. <laughs> the wah -wah. This place looks familiar. What? What a deep voice you have there, Knuckles. I mean, Rouge. This place looks familiar. Wait, what? Huh. Is that weird? Normal. Everybody should have their mystic melodies. I mean, I don't know why. I can't. Huh. Uh. The treasure scope isn't working either. Something's going on here. Uh. Ah, I died. Well, okay. Hmm. So you can't play your Mystic Melody. You sound like Knuckles. Maybe Rouge is Knuckles. I'm just gonna have to go straight there. <laughs> you just skip the middle, man. I'm just make my way up there as fast as I can. Just directly up there. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. I am Rush the Bat Knuckles. Oh, cool. Up! It's Nuck Suge taken to the most literal degree. I got it! <laughs> Alright. How'd we do? What? Whoa! Holy shit! Do you have to get it in like 20 seconds? That's, I think about 30. We gotta go faster, not mess up on that one, though. That's extremely harsh, though. Ab. Holy God. Maybe we do need Knuckles for this. Uh. Well. <laughs> Knuckles, quick. Be a distraction. <laughs> Reset the timer. Anything. Just this looks go... familiar somehow. Here, we get up faster this way, actually. Oh, okay. So. Supposed to be 
Uh, actually, uh -huh. the the way to get the Chow here is not not to uh, use the Mystic Melody, but to use the Treasure Scope, which you need the Mystic Melody for anyway. So what? Well, fuck. Uh, because using the Treasure Scope reveals a spring around that area that can take you right to the Chow. Oh, seriously? Seriously. So they put that in there as kind of like a red herring, or it actually does serve a purpose? Well, you put you play the Mystic Melody, you will get the Treasure Scope. The Treasure Scope helps you see the spring, so... Oh, okay, I get you. I get you and now. There we go. So it's right there for people watching at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing 25 seconds turns it into a B rank. It's just a guess. I'm, I'm, I'm still saying 30. All right, next level. Here goes. Oh, hard mode. Time mode. Oh, sorry. Oh. What? Is that why it's hard mode? That code I put in was a code that changes the character you're playing. Sometimes oh. the game doesn't really cooperate. <laughs> Sonic's so, pretty versatile, though. So wait, that's why we were hearing Sonic noises while playing as Rouge as one at one point. We, we, we were uh, uh, we were either Eggman or Tails at one stage. The the hints don't work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were we were Knuckles up up up. Oh no! <laughs> Shit! And that's what the fuck it button does. It causes the world to explode. God! Oh no! My visuals are gone! What do we do? Hmm. Concerning. <laughs> well. So. I'm alive! Maybe don't do that. Maybe don't do that. I, I, th I think we've done, we're done using that cheat for <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> well, that, that was awesome. Button, there we go. All right, let's go. <laughs> no, that was awesome. <laughs> like I was expecting, like the blah blah blah. That was the start of something great. And uh, thank you for telling me what that code did, because <laughs> now I realize, I yes, that was the beginning of the end. Like Who, boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy. And now for hard mode. Oh right, yeah. So this is the one I was thinking of, where all the emeralds are now in a fixed location. Yes. And they're pretty crazy this time around. Let me tell you the hell what, boyo. Turns out you need Mystic Melody, and your Treasure Scope, and you need to be Knuckles, and you need to be Sonic. <laughs> we already got a lock on one, so hey, where could it be? Oh, it's close by. Simple, right? Nope. Wait. Right there? You've gotta dive oh. down to get it. Okay, that's kind of clever. I like it. All right, next one we gotta head all the way to the tippy top. Like, the extreme top? The extreme top, like up where the chow was top. Jeez. All right. Break crates, that's good. <laughs> Everything's working as advertised, all right. Okay, ah! Ah! All right, so far so good. Yeah. Gotta lock on the next emerald, too. Difficult if you didn't have extra replay. Oh my god. Oh, that sucks. Oh my god, how are you supposed to get that normally? This third one is going to take a little bit of preparation. Alright. Step one. There's a switch down here. Oh, hey, I got a, got a shield. Uh, there's a shield down here. You can only get... Yeah, yeah. The red block is what you gotta go ahead and take care of, but there's air ducts and lasers going everywhere, so it might be a little hard to do at first. Jeez. You hit that switch. Well, we have to take care of these guys first, because they're getting in my way. And, well, get a chaos drive, too. We're gonna go visit the Chow Ward later. Yay! Alright. Good, looking good. Ah. Alright, so that's uh, one part taken care of, of getting this last emerald. Okay. We'll head on down. <clears throat> there we go, okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm rubber, your there glue. I stick on every wall. <laughs> oh! 
The idea is I gotta hit the treasure scope too, in a way I think. Oh. I can't do that because again, why is turbo? Can you go into like a corner of places? I'm trying to, but you don't always get the most opportune way of doing it because you just slide everywhere. So it has to be done on this particular place. Pretty much. So I can't. Hmm. <laughs> can't do it on the wall either. It eh. looks like a mare humping it. Stuck! Ah! What can we do in order to activate the treasure scope? <laughs> Woo! That's what we're gonna do. Try that! <laughs> <laughs> the idea is, the last emerald is in a safe. Hmm. But it's a safe that is guarded by a press. Huh. And you have to. I can't do my tre I can't do my treasure scope here for some reason. Okay, I can whistle, but I can't really. <laughs> Huh. Can't. <sighs> I guess I might just have to hit it manually. But there's an invisible spring that you hit on that you can get that switch right there. Oh. You gotta break this crate to do it. Oh. And the only that's way to get that to works. that spring is to, like, look at it. With the treasure. You gotta scope? break that. Yeah, break that crate. Treasure scope it. But I can't really do anything with it. I can't break the crate. Huh. Is that because the game's broken, or Rouge just can't naturally do that? It's because the game's broken, so we'll go ahead and hit that switch. <laughs> and so now, this one is open, and now we can dig right uh, in. And... What? What? I can't. I can't. Why not? Because we're knuckles. <laughs> so we're gonna do it right, damn it. <laughs> how do we do it right? The only way we know how. Be the right character. I was just kidding. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> so this is the game's way of saying, hey, fuck, not play it correctly. It's gotta be close. Okay, well. Gonna, gonna do it right, we're gonna do it quickly this time, then we know what to do, and, and I think we're Rouge now. Pretty sure we're Rouge. Because <laughs> I've, I've turned off the character Joker code, I believe. Yes, I have. I've also... I think I may have turned off the fuck it button, because that's that proved to be a, a bit of a... <laughs> a catalyst for certain things. No. I still can't break the crate for some reason. <laughs> that's uh, Sega's way of dealing with cheaters, apparently. Not like this with uh, any of the other stages. Well, I don't know. Maybe this one is just made incorrectly. I don't know, but so something bad goes on in this level when you don't do it right. <laughs> it's just a, a big old nope from the level itself. Yeah. Jesus, you're flying fast. Oh. Huh? Wait, so you're still trying to do it legitimately, even though you know exactly where it is? Oh, so okay. I, I get it. There, there. All right, all right. Now you can get it. And I realize I forgot to hit the switch just now. I can't. So fuck it. <laughs> Jesus <I> Christ. It. <laughs> you get it. That's where the emerald is. We get it. <laughs> Didn't at one point... Y you said, I think... How is that? You know, all, all the rest of the me? all the rest of the levels we're not going to use the fuck it button, and that seems to be the crutch in this episode. Why do we call it the fuck it button? Okay, you got me there. Cause fuck it. <laughs> Decide which stage to go to. So all right. Who are you going to be? Let's head to the Chow World and go give Shiffy his uh, daily nutrition. Oh, I could just imagine you recording this, just being like, okay. 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 Fine. We'll use it. <laughs> I'm just trying to find ways to fuck it up even more. <laughs> now, as soon as you start running on your ears, I, I don't think we're going to get to that level of corruption in this. 
But you never know. A lot of the really fun codes have a lot of lines of code to put in. Mm. And I tried to put in a 32-line code, and it didn't work. It's like, all right, I'm going to try that later. Yeah, I remember. I think the only action replay I've ever used was on the DS, and having to input all of those codes just to get Pokemon. Another thing that I did is I also let Dejime and Shiffy go to class together, so they are now classmates. Because <laughs> it turns out if you want to get a lot of the... Oh, he doesn't like me very much. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't that doesn't seem like a very very good thing. Ooh. Maybe I'll rock him to bed or whatever. Maybe we'll just run around a little bit. Hey, go go for a ride. Okay. Something like that. Sell him at the black market. You know. He still doesn't like me. It's like he knows something's gonna happen. <laughs> huh. Well, he is not like me. Uh, well, anyway, uh, I'm teaching these two chows uh, a lot of stuff in school because it turns out to get some of the emblems, your chow needs to be intelligent. The only way for they can be, for them to be intelligent is for them to go to school. Huh. So go ahead and feed him some of these uh, chow fruits, get his stats up a bit. So so not only can they tell when an, a uh, parent's being abusive, they also have to be a little Einsteins? Well, of course. Hmm. He's not even grown up yet. God, how so. long does it take to, to grow these shitheads? Well, I don't know. It, it does take some time. I think it's like an hour... Like real time hour, perhaps. Of just like, I've only been spending yeah, I've only been spending like a few paltry minutes here at a time. Oh, okay. Yeah. God. <laughs> this is like it's like you cut the skin off a baked potato and you're having him eat that. It's like, come on, get all the nutrients. But eat every bite. Alright. Now that that's happened, I guess we'll just go ahead. Oh no! <laughs> it didn't save it, did it? Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> so let's try that again with Shadow. Uh, Shadow is a much better... He, he's a much better parent than Rouge is, you know, because... Uh, <laughs> When I when I picked up a uh, little Shithy from from school, he was happy to see Shadow. Oh, Uncle Shadow's here! Oh, I love Uncle Shadow. So, no, Rouge, you're gonna crash the game if you take me there. Yeah, it was a sign. See, I was about to make a joke like the reason he doesn't like Rouge is because you look at the back of his ankles and you see cigarette burns. But no, he was trying to save the game. It's gonna crash the game. <laughs> So, Rouge, um, CPS called. You are no longer allowed within 10 feet of that child. Like, I know we make a bunch of child abuse jokes and stuff like that, and it's funny because it's a child, but you're going to be ruining the world. We got, shit, we, we got shit to talk about, okay? God, right. she'll ruin the whole franchise at this rate. She's just going to create black holes in the code. Hmm. God damn, Rouge. Oh, good shit. Good shit. <laughs> that, the deity's gone mean, now. I mean, that, that mean old that mean old bat won't hurt you anymore. <laughs> God, I did not see that coming. Uh, more Woo! insanity coming up next on Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2. Yes.